Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Danny, also known as Droid XCon in the Android Central forums. Um, today, we're going to be going over how to install Clockwork Recovery on uh, on my DJ05 or DL09 firmware builds. So, first thing I did was I went to my thread on how to how to Clockwork Recovery. Um, we're going to use Section Two today. And I've already downloaded all the files required, but um, all the files that you need to download are in that section. So once you have them downloaded into your downloads on your computer, um, if you see here, we have the update zip file. Now the update zip file, um, that's what's actually going to get you into Clockwork Recovery from the stock recovery. We also have um, your DJ05 and DL09 kernel. Now, after you flash your Clockwork, you're going to need to install this kernel. And the reason is, is that once you boot up into regular, um, into the boot, it's Verizon or Samsung or whoever did this actually replaces the clockwork kernel and you can't boot back up into this unless you replace that kernel. Um, you're also going to need this file and this is optional actually. This is the super user and busy box um, zip file. And uh, if you flash this you'll automatically have um, super user um, permission other known, otherwise known as root and uh, you won't have to go through any of the commands, you won't have to use uh, one click root, anything like that. Um, you also have your clockwork recovery DJ05 DL09 tar file and this is what we're actually going to use to flash um, via Odin. So first thing we need to do before we flash anything is we're going to have to put these files onto the root of your SD card. So we're going to mount the card. And um, so you see, if you don't know, you go to your start on your taskbar, go to computer, and you will see your SD card there. Um, for this demonstration, I actually formatted it so you could see um, what it's like straight from the, straight from the beginning stock. So I'm going to select my update.zip, my kernel, and the busy box, and transfer it onto the card. Once this is done, we can unmount. And what we're going to do is. Power down. We're going to remove the battery. We're going to open our Odin file, our Odin application. We're going to plug the USB port in, and we're going to hold down the down button. And that will put us into download mode. Now, on the screen, when you're properly connected, if you see here, you will get a yellow COM port, letting you know that you're connected and that it's assigned a COM to it. After that, you're going to hit PDA, and we're going to go to the downloads, and we're going to choose the TAR file and open and click start okay that took about seven seconds and you're done just hit reset and close out of Odin we're gonna reinsert the reinsert the battery we're gonna hold down the volume up and the volume down button and hit power and hold them. 
you're going to see Samsung flash once, flash twice, and now we can let go. Okay. Now, since we have the update.zip file on the card, we can scroll down using the volume key, and you're going to hit the, the home button, and that will initiate, and it will take you into cr green clockwork recovery. From here, we're going to scroll down to install zip from SD, and we're going to hit the power button to select. We're going to choose zip from SD. We're going to choose the kernel, which is DJ05, DL09 kernel.zip, and hit OK, which is the power button. Again, we're going to go to yes. And the reason they put it in the middle there is because they don't want to make it easy for somebody to accidentally just install a kernel or something like that. So hit power. It's going to do a little bit of craziness there. Don't fr freak out. All right. So now um, we know that we flash a kernel, clockwork recovery is working, and from now on it's gonna do it's gonna work. So the next step, and this is optional, if you've already rooted, you don't really need to do this. We're gonna choose from SD card again. You're gonna go down to um, SU 2.361 plus busy box. You're gonna hit the power button again. Scroll to yes, and you're done. Okay, so now we can go back and we can reboot the phone. It's missing a boot animation. Um, don't freak out. It's basically because of the kernel. When you switch kernels to something else, um, you'll get your boot animation back. So after it's rebooted, we can unlock it. Go into our applications. And if you see, we have super user uh, app installed. And uh, that's pretty much it. You, uh, you now have super user access. Uh, you have clockwork. And you can put a ROM in, change your kernels, um, do Nandroid backups, whatever you want to do. Um, so thanks for watching I'm gonna add all those all the links you need on the bottom in the comments area and uh, you know if you have any questions make your way over to androidcentral.com and uh, meet me in the fascinate forums alright have a good night